This literally feels like the crane game, and uh, it's very challenging, but if you get good at this, you can do it. Ah, get in there. What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, Blue, and I've been hoping to try something like this ever since I got into Farming Simulator. This is an early first look at Thrustmaster's new SimTask steering kit and farm stick, which is basically a joystick for farming, but also works great for Construction Simulator as well. Let's jump into the game and see it in action. All right, guys, welcome to my farm. We're here in Stone Valley. And this is my workhorse right here, the John Deere 8R410. Let's hop aboard in the cab. So we'll start off by talking about the steering wheel kit. Now, what I'm using here is the Thrustmaster T248, which is here, and then the steering kit. The steering kit itself uh, has a great desk mount. It has a lot of space. Um, you can fit thin desk, uh, fairly thick desk. Um, I'm actually surprised at just how much space here it fits here. Um, it's also completely made of metal, which is good, which means it should be fairly durable and last pretty much forever. Um, and then also one of the best features about this steering kit is the actual ability to adjust the wheel position. So if I hit these knobs here, there's a knob on the left and a knob on the right. I just spin it just a little bit and there it is. The wheel starts to drop down in place or you can bring it up. So when you bring it up, it's obviously a bit more realistic for driving, you know, heavy machinery, uh, big trucks, tractors and things like that. And you might want to bring it back down for driving maybe uh, some cars or, or, or racing or something like that. So you have that choice to do so. I do want to make one thing clear and that is I am using kind of a specialty setup today. Um, you can normally mount this on a desk or really anything you can clamp this on. I have the next level racing flight simulator chair. And so I have this mounted on my flight sim chair. So this is a bit of a special case scenario, um, but it mounts perfectly onto my, my yoke panel. So that's what I have it right now. So that's why you kind of see it a bit lower than it normally would be. I wouldn't want to race, honestly, with the wheel sitting here between my legs. That'd be extremely uncomfortable. Another thing I want to make clear is that the Thrustmaster steering kit uh, is sold separately from the wheel. When you get the steering kit, you are not going to get the wheel together, at least not as of this recording. Maybe later there'll be a bundle where you can get both, but as of right now, uh, they are sold separately. So the, what the wheel that I have, as I said, is a T248. And then let's talk about the rotary spinner knob here we have. So that clamps onto the wheel very easily. It's all completely plastic, uh, which is... Uh, uh, it's just fine. Uh, it just kind of feels a little flimsy. It feels a bit fragile. I'm a bit worried about breaking it. Um, hopefully, hopefully I, I don't break it. Um, but it also doesn't clamp as hard or as tight as I would like it to clamp onto the wheel either. So that's my two kind of uh, constructive criticism I have on the spinner. But it does work. Uh, you can definitely move around as much as you want when you're working the fields. So that's just fine. But I do wish that the rotary knob was a bit more, I don't know, just felt a bit more durable. I have a feeling that's gonna be the first piece to go. So we'll take the, uh, the tractor out in the, onto the field here, uh, just to kind of show you the wheel a bit. So the T248 wheel, which again is sold separately from the steering kit. Um, the steering kit is also uh, compatible with the T128 wheel. Uh, but the wheel itself is uh, completely compatible with Farming Sim. Uh, plug and play, once you, once you get out here, into farming sim all the buttons are automatically mapped for you um everything works as you see me turning around the field here i need to go through this field and get rid of these weeds so it's working pretty good the wheel also comes with its own set of pedals and the pedals that i have do have a clutch as well if you want to use those so that's completely up to you now i don't know that the steering kit would be compatible with any other wheels like Logitech or Moza or anybody like that um, because it does have a uh, kind of a couple screws on the bottom of the brace that uh, secures the Thrustmaster wheel to it. So I don't know, you could try, but that would be quite a risk that I personally wouldn't recommend. So anyways, that's the wheel. Let's go ahead and move over to the farm stick. The farm stick here is sold separately to the steering kit so if you only want the farm stick alone you can do that uh, even if you want to get two of them like if you want to do a dual joystick setup which 
I think would be freaking cool. You can do that. Uh, also, the farm stick is plug and play. So as soon as you plug in the farm sim, all of your buttons will be mapped for various vehicles, which is great. Uh, what you'll see me do today will vary though, because I've customized pretty much all of the buttons instead of the defaults. But on the joystick itself, you have seven buttons here in thumbs reach two rocker switches you have one thumb wheel and a mini stick which i use for my view there's also a trigger in the back that you can use to switch between driving and working mode on the base you have 18 buttons including two shift keys or shift buttons that will allow you to basically hold that down that shift button just like on a keyboard you hold down shift and you can do something completely different so you basically double the amount of you know button actions you can do by using those shift keys down there the joystick itself is using a hall effect right now we're in the uh, in the tractor i have a uh a herbicide um sprayer in the back so i'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, unfold that with this key here and you see now that's unfolding it's gonna stretch out and then i can lower it as well just by pressing on a button on my farm stick all the buttons on the farm stick are kind of a rubber feel. Uh, you also may recognize some of the icons on the farm stick because they're all, um, some of them are copied from real modern uh, tractors and, and farming equipment, which is pretty sweet. The joystick itself is completely plastic, just like the TCA Captain from Flight Sim. It's basically the same joystick, just kind of customized for farming. And then I can go ahead and click on this button here, just in the joystick to turn it on. And we can start driving and start herbicide in this field which is nice and then when we're done I can turn it off I can raise it up and then fold it up just like that very easy and very convenient I, I gotta say like it's very convenient having it like that I also have an ignition key on the joystick base as well uh, as well as a way to detach and reattach to equipment and swap between different equipments for other options. Next, let's try this with a harvester. All right, this is my John Deere combine harvester, the John Deere X9 1100. We'll hop aboard the ladder here, get inside. And uh, one thing about harvesters that I actually learned is that uh, you don't really use like, regular pedals for a harvester like this. You would actually, I'm going to turn it on. I have a button on my base there. You actually have the joystick here to go forward and back. So you can actually see here in the cockpit as well, or in the cabin, you can actually see that moving. And I'm using the farm stick as well to kind of try to simulate that as well. So that's one thing I actually learned uh, about combine harvesters. Now you still use, use your steering wheel, just like that. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. So this is we're in a harvester now, and I can't wait to harvest some corn or something with this. I don't have any crops ready just yet to use, but I can still kind of showcase it here. Uh, maybe we'll do that for an, a, a later video. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it, um, basically using the same keys as I used for the uh, for the herbicide earlier. So I'll go ahead and unfold it like that, using a button here on my joystick or my farm stick. Correction just like that we also go to the outside view take a look as well and we could also lower it and raise it all with a button on the farm stick we can turn it on there it is you can hear it turn it on and again we can still drive around just like that and we can also turn that back off and we can bring out the pipe. Now there is actually a pipe icon, which is pretty sweet. And we can close the pipe. I can also swap to the main combine here, and then I can actually fold and unfold the uh, the harvester itself, just like that. So it's all wor working as intended, which is good. And this should hopefully save you a lot of time uh, when it comes to just kind of working around the fields in general as well as just kind of be a bit more immersive i think i think honestly you could probably get everything done in the same amount of time i'm not gonna sit here and try to say hey this is gonna make you faster at uh working fields and harvesting uh it's mainly more of a immersion thing it's like hey like it's it's nothing like having 
physical equipment that you can touch and drive around, move around, manipulate um, the things in the simulator. It's, it's, it's the same set for racing, the same set for flight sim. So that's our harvester. And the next thing I want to show you guys is going to be doing some forestry with some of the cranes and front loaders, which is kind of where things get a bit complicated. So let's go jump over there. Now, welcome to my little uh, logging operation here. It's really just getting started, uh, but let's go get into the crane and try to chop down some trees with the farm stick. So we'll hop in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on with my starter right there. And as you can see, we can rotate left, rotate right. And I'm not sure if you can see just how smooth that application is. If you just want to move this a little bit, you actually can make very fine adjustments for a bit more precision. We can also move it out forward and move it backwards. We can also rotate the harvesting head there. And then I can raise it and lower it like that. And we can also open it up. Let's go ahead and uh, use this tree right ahead of us. I think it's kind of perfectly placed. So we'll kind of move the head out. All right, we'll stay in the cab view and I'm going to go ahead and lower it down, lower it down. You can faintly see a little green line there on the tree. Kind of rotate it, go a little bit more distance out. All right, we're, we're basically on it. And then we can hit our action key here to chop it down. We'll rotate it this way so it falls away from us. Timber! There we go. We'll hit the action key again. We'll start cutting it up. Raise that if we want to. And boom. That is to another one. But yeah, crane operation is pretty fun. I think that if you were to kind of use two joysticks or two uh, farm sticks, that would probably be the most realistic um, function. Not sure why it's not letting me cut this guy. Are we too far away? Let's go closer. Yeah, we're too far away. All right, that'll do. Set in place right there. And we'll kind of get a bit closer. There we go. Back a little bit. Rotate the header. Drop it down. And cut. Hold on, it's too low. A little more. Right there. That's good. That's the spot. There we go. And we'll cut it up. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Uh, I think this is probably one of my favorite things to do with it because it just feels right you know um a crane like this is going to be uh, operated with two two joysticks but obviously as i'm showing you now you can use just one let's uh try something a bit more difficult and we'll run the front loader over here what is this now this this is probably gonna be hard <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna go so let's turn it on and we'll drive over here with the volvo here This literally feels like the crane game, and uh, it's very challenging, but if you get good at this, you can do it. Ah, get in there. You know what? If, if, if it works, it works. Okay. Okay. It's a little sloppy, but can we get this to the truck? <laughs> can we get this to the truck? Let's see. Oh, this is going to fall out for sure. Sure. Ah, oh, we lost one. This is why you wear hard hats. All right, we're over the truck. We made it this far, and we can actually also rotate the uh, the head there as well. Let's go a little bit higher if we can, and rotate. We need to get that back one over. Drop it down. Rotate it the other way. There we go. Look at that. We'll open her back up. And there it is. We did it. <laughs> well, guys, this is a first look again at the uh, SimTask farm stick uh, from Thrustmaster. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I mean, I personally feel like if you're really into farming, if farming is something you do all the time, uh, this is definitely a must have for sure. Um, you can operate it with just one. Uh, personally, you know, if, if it, in the perfect world, I would have two of them. Uh, and be able to operate certain types of machinery. There's so many different types of diverse machines in Farming Sim, and uh, it's definitely a pretty good general um, controller for that, uh, with or without a steering wheel or whatever. So let me know what your thoughts are on the Farm Stick. 
I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely going to continue using it. I'm also looking forward to trying it out in construction sim. That'll be in a later video. Um, and I'm also, honestly, there's so many buttons on this thing. I'm actually looking forward to using it for other games as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess with it. I'm going to see what other games it works well with and things like that. But guys, that's it from Farmer Blue today. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. We out, baby. Sheesh.